and welcome back to the week three edition of the 2022 John Carroll Football Preview Show. And joining us now is another special guest. He had a 48-yard interception return for a touchdown to seal the deal and give John Carroll their 10th straight Cuyahoga Global victory last week. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest for this week, Blue Streak Safety, John Marcus Rowland. JM, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And right before we were getting started here, I know it was like John Marcus or JM. <laughs> yes, I've seen sir. both on social, so it sounds like maybe sticking with JM for the rest of the year. Yes, sir. All right. we Will do, man. Well, uh, so let's just kind of dive in a little bit earlier on for you in high school. You went to uh, University of Detroit Jesuit in Michigan. Mm-hmm. We do have definitely some people who have come into John Carroll from here. I know Noah Taluki in the Sports Information Office yes, sir. and WJCU formerly also went there. So for college, how did you ultimately end up here at JCU? So uh, it's a pretty interesting story. Uh, I never thought, you know, I'd be playing football to start off. Um, kind of a basketball guy, so um, that was like my goal growing up: uh, go to play college basketball, hopefully be able to go to the NBA. And um, I ended up trying out for football my senior year, and um, I ended up having a pretty good season. And I ended up getting an offer my last game from Albion College. And then after I posted that offer, I sent out my tape to a couple of schools, and then John Carroll was one of the schools that uh, reached out to me. So I came on my visit, and I, I just fell in love with the uh, environment. Wow, so that's senior year of high school, first year of football. Yes, sir. No kidding. Wow, that's awesome, man. And that really was kind of what I was going to segue into, that you were an all-league selection playing basketball at U of D, mm-hmm. and then you're talking about football. So that really was the deciding factor once you were seeing, hey, I was getting some traction after that first offer just rolled in from there. Yes, sir. That's a great story. Absolutely. So talking about the game that you guys just had, you had a great performance against Baldwin Wallace last week. Thank you. You had a career high four tackles. You also had a pass breakup and then ultimately that 48 yard pick six that ended up sealing the game. So what was working well for you during that game and ultimately as well, what did you see on that big play? So um, going into the game, we all just decided that, you know, we're going to leave the past behind, you know, what happened last year, and we're just going to come in. We're a new young group, come in and play JCU football. I didn't really have, you know, anything in mind coming into the game. I just knew that I needed to play to the best of my abilities. And we also, that week, practiced tackling because the week before, our first week, wasn't doing too good uh, tackling. So I knew I had to finish tackles. And another thing, just being confident in myself with the playbook, knowing the plays. We uh, went over the playbook all week, so I just felt very confident out there, and that's what ultimately led to my big interception. Actually, uh, the week, I believe it was like maybe two days before, I had an interception on the exact same play during the scout period. So it was just like practice, actually. Um, I went up to go get it, and I knew I had to come down with it. So... And that really shows that you practice how you play, and that really goes to show right there, seeing that in practice, too. That's awesome to hear. And had to use some of that leaping ability, perhaps (laughs) from hoops as well, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, really able to high point that football on that play. Now looking a little more of an overall scope of this season so far in the secondary. So you are a safety for the Blue Streaks at the moment right now. Coach Harris, he's in his first year coaching the safeties here at JCU. With mm-hmm. that in mind, getting this group together, you also had Nate Leopold last year graduate from that safeties group. Mm-hmm. Tyshawn Jones as well kind of would rotate in there too, also another graduate. How has the safeties room gotten along so far in 2022 for this season? You know, we had a lot of competition in the safety spot. You know, right now it's me and McLean. Before the season, during camp, it was another group of safeties who were like considered our ones. I just feel like We're all working at it as a unit. We all make each other better during practice because at the end of the day, although we're like a family, there is still a competition. So I feel like we're all just making each other better um, practice. And then also with that, while we're making each other better, we're able to count on other guys, not only me, McLean, but we also have a deep group that can come into the game anytime and make plays for us. And you're talking about that family brotherhood being together and you're all working together to prepare for that common goal, trying to reach another victory this week. So kind of building on to that, what you were just talking about, how did preparation go this week for your defense and the team in general as well? Yeah, so for the defense, you know, we we came out of the game last week pretty confident uh, during this week. We didn't want to get a big head, so we just locked more into the playbook, looking at their key plays, their key concepts, and, you know, we're focusing on 
shutting down their run game and their passing game ultimately so and then overall as a team we know Heidelberg they only let up 10 points uh, in their last three games so their defense is pretty good so as long as we get offense you know rolling and defense stay solid I think we have a pretty good shot. Certainly so. That does seem to be the case. That is a dynamic attack on the ground really as well. You have the OAC's leading rusher, Montavious Yearby, in the backfield once again. Had a big game against you guys last season. Mm -hmm. So this week also is the homecoming in family weekend annual homecoming game. This one against 19th ranked Heidelberg, as we've already mentioned. So you kind of talked about this already, what it will take for the team to pull off the upset. And what ultimately is that mentality going into this game? pretty simple uh we just have to be confident and you know execute what the coaches have been giving us since the beginning of camp I think they put us in a really good position with their defensive playbook offensive playbook and strategies and uh, I feel like if we just go out there play tough physical and you know not worry about anything outside of just the football team I think we'll have a pretty good shot so sounds like definitely putting into practice what you are being coached to do should serve you guys well in this one. Yes, sir. And once again, J.M. Rowland is our guest on the John Carroll Football Preview Show. We're going to move a little bit off the football field now. So you're currently a sophomore here at JCU and also a sports management major. Do you have any potential plans in mind at the moment for once your time at John Carroll is complete? Um, If my football career is over, once my senior year is uh, over with, um, then I will want to stay around sports, whether that be basketball or football. Um, Maybe getting a little bit of coaching, um, scouting for, you know, a professional team or even going back to my old high school to, you know, help around there. Um, Just mainly my goal is to stay around sports for as long as I can. And certainly experience in multiple sports will be able to help you have a good chance to do that. Mm -hmm. And now maybe getting a little bit away from the sports themselves. What do you enjoy doing when you're not on the football field? (laughs) Um. I still like to go shoot some hoops in the intramural gym. Um, you know, I get in there whenever I can with a few teammates. Um, but besides, like, sports in general, um, playing the game. Uh, I have a girlfriend that's on campus, so, you know, I go out to dinner with her whenever I can, um, go see movies. You know, the typical teenage stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's great to hear. And now we're going to go on to our final segment of this football preview show interview do want to thank you once again for taking the time to sit down with us i call it rapid fire but there's no timer or anything it's just a couple quick favorites just to let blue streak nation get to know you a little bit more are you ready yes sir all right great first off what's your favorite food chicken no hesitation right there (laughs) how about your favorite show um probably family guy favorite movie Step Brothers. man these are all very very quick (laughs) you know them very very quickly that's awesome (laughs) Favorite music artist? Mm, all time, I'll say Drake, but right now, probably Little Baby. So is that also kind of like the hype music maybe yeah. right before the game too? Yes, sir. Awesome. And finally, your favorite all-time football player. You can also maybe get basketball too because I know you played <laughs> that for a long time as well. Yeah, so for football, I would say Tom Brady. And then um, basketball, Kobe Bryant. Has to be Kobe Bryant. I'm guessing you certainly want to pick off a pass from Tom Brady for sure, right? I would love to. I'd love to. (laughs) Awesome. Well, JM, thanks for taking the time to join us. It's about all the time we have for this week's interview, and best of luck against Heidelberg. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. That was John Carroll safety J.M. Rowland for our interview on the Week 3 edition of the John Carroll Football Preview Show. Coming up, a bit of a preview of today's matchup between your John Carroll Blue Streaks and the D3Football.com 19th ranked Heidelberg Student Princes. Right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU 88.7.